Hey guys! Well, we have prepared something awesome for you guys today. We'll be talking about Dr. Dre spending millions on his Super Bowl performances. Stay tuned till the end! The NFL Super Bowl halftime show is a legendary event, with celebrities such as Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and most recently, Jennifer Lopez and Shakira performing. The performance is planned far in advance, allowing for unanticipated surprises that could derail the production. Unfortunately, COVID could derail the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show, costing rap legend Dr. Dre millions of dollars. The 2022 Super Bowl halftime show will feature one of the most star-studded lineups in the event's long history, with pioneering hip-hop star Dr. Dre reportedly footing the majority of the bill. What happens, however, if COVID gets in the way? TMZ reports that Dr. Dre could lose millions of dollars if the Omicron variant disrupts the halftime show. According to reports, Dr. Dre purchased event cancellation insurance. Unfortunately for the CEO of Aftermath Entertainment, that coverage does not extend to COVID. His insurance policy appears to be subject to a communicable disease exemption, which prohibits insurance companies from covering damages or losses caused by disease spread. The rule has been in place since before COVID, but it has before increasingly relevant in recent years. If the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show is cancelled, Dr. Dre's event insurance is unlikely to reimburse him for any of the numerous expenses, and the halftime show features a slew of big-name performers, unlike previous shows, which were built around a single major star such as Madonna or Bruno Mars. This year's show will feature Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar all sharing the stage. The greater the number of people involved, the greater the likelihood of someone contracting COVID and possibly infecting others. When you consider the SoFi Stadium's massive holding capacity, up to 100,000 seats for major events, the risk of potential COVID exposure grows even more. While everyone is hoping that the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show goes off without a hitch, the straight out of Compton producer has a massive net worth, even if a loss of millions of dollars would be devastating. Dr. Dre's worth has recently been estimated to be around $820 million as a result of his music and other business ventures. Whether or not the show continues, fans can be assured that Dr. Dre will not be forgotten. Super Bowl LV1 will take place on February 13 at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. As of now, it is unknown which two football teams will face off, nor whether the halftime show will take place as planned. Check back here on Cinema Blend for future updates and see our 2022 TV premiere schedule for more events to look forward to on the small screen in the coming year. The Super Bowl 2022 kickoff time is 6.30 p.m. ET, and the halftime show will begin after the first two quarters of the game are completed, roughly between 8 to 8.30 p.m. ET. The Super Bowl halftime show is always one of the most anticipated parts of the event, with previous years featuring performances by Shakira, Bruno Mars, and Beyonce. This year is just as exciting, and fans can't wait to see who will be performing. This year's performers on one of the world's largest stages include Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. Blige is the only one of these artists who has previously performed at the Super Bowl halftime show. She did so in 2001. The weekend's 2021 halftime show in Tampa, Florida will be followed by the five performers. Here's everything you need to know about this year's Super Bowl 56 halftime show including the expected start time and a complete list of previous performances. Rappers Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar will perform alongside R&B singer Mary J. Blige at the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show. Surprising guests frequently appear during performances, but that isn't expected for this year's show because there are already five headliners. The five artists have a combined total of 43 Grammy nominations and 21 Billboard to number one albums. The Super Bowl halftime show is expected to begin shortly after 8 p.m. ET. The game begins at approximately 6.30 p.m., so the first half should conclude approximately 19 minutes later. The Super Bowl halftime show usually lasts 20 to 30 minutes, which is twice as long as a regular NFL game. During the break, the musical act usually lasts 12 to 14 minutes. The rapper, 56, began his career in 1986 as a member of the hip-hop group NWA. 
In his career, he has received six Grammy Awards, three of which were for album or song production. Dr. Dre is also a well-known producer and businessman. He founded Aftermath Entertainment and Beats Headphones, and he serves as CEO for both companies. He also worked at Death Row Records, where he signed Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and Kendrick Lamar, to name a few. That's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If so, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, show us some love by clicking on the like button below and sharing the video with your friends and family. Turn on the notification button to get updates on our new videos. That's all we have for today. Bye and see you next time in the upcoming video.